This is a time for me to talk about life again. And this time I'm going to talk about or to uh, blog on uh, the search for the meaning of life. Uh, I have written an article about it and uh, I would like to share it with you. Actually, this article was published in, was included in one of the books I, I wrote, or one of the books I co-authored. I think it was in the in a National Training Service uh, program book that uh, we co I co-authored with my other fellow uh, faculty members way back in 2005. And uh, it, uh, I, I have a copy of that, and I found it very beautiful and very nice to ser to to share with others. Uh, this is about the search for the meaning of life, and I started it with uh, by saying that life without meaning is a painful life. Yearning for the meaning of life is a human nature because there is no human being who does not want to lead a meaningful life. Finding purpose and meaning to one's life is an important aspiration of both the young and the old people. Let us take a look at how famous personages viewed life. Nikolai Gogol, a 19th century Russian writer, believed that life means creativity when he wrote that there is hardly any bigger joy than the joy of creating. Look at the radiance that an artist exudes after finishing an artistic creation. And what can compare to the joy that a parent or, or that a parent feels upon the birth of a child, the most beautiful creation that God gifted to humankind. Gautama Buddha viewed life as a suffering, and indeed to undergoing suffering and giving up the comforts of life, he found the greatest fulfillment in his life. The early Christian saint, Augustine, uh, considered life as a journey toward God. He believed that thou hast created us for thyself, and our heart is not quiet until it finds rest in thee. True, indeed, for a peaceful heart can be achieved only to our meaningful relationship with the Lord. William Hazlitt, a 19th century essayist and literary critic, perceived life as a duty. Thus he wrote that the greatest pleasure in life is knowing that you have fulfilled your duty. Voltaire, France's 18th century philosopher, believed that life is work, which liberates humankind from three great, from three great evils. Namely, boredom, vice, and poverty. For Julius Caesar, Roma, Rome's greater emperor, great, great emperor, life is a road to domination, and this meaning of life for him was manifested when he stated, Veni, vidi, visi, which means, I came, I saw, I conquered. After conquering Asia Minor in 47 BC, the greatest English playwright William Shakespeare considered life as a drama, as gleaned from this line taken from his play, as she liked it. All the worlds, a stage, and all the men and the women, merely players. To the Indian poet Travendranath Tagore, Life is love. Thus his poems speak of love because he believed that we live in this world only if we love. If there is no love in the world, 
what kind of existence do we have? And lastly, the 19th century Russian writer Anton Shikov looked at life as doing something good. He wrote that there is any meaning and purpose in life. Then this meaning and purpose are not in our own happiness, but in something much greater thus the need to do goodness. Thus living for the sake of living is not living at all. You have to find meaning to your existence. We have to find meaning to our existence. It is only then that we will achieve inner peace and happiness. And what is a better way of doing it than by living for the sake of others? Sacrificing ourselves for the sake of a noble goal to give up momentarily fleeting pleasures for more lasting and meaningful rewards. Reflect on that once again. What is the meaning of your life? What is the meaning of my life? A purpose-driven life. Life must have a purpose for it to be meaningful, for it to be lived contentedly, happily, peacefully. Let us all find the meaning of life, of what we are living for. Are we living or are we just existing? And if we are living, why? And if we are just existing, why? Good night.